right, so we're here about to hit, we're on Tennessee 52, and we're in Moss, I think the village of Moss, I believe is what that sign said back there, I'm not 100% sure, uh, but Tennessee 52, and we'll be turning up here, be taking a slight right uh, to be going towards the Tom, Ke well that'll be, that'll end up being the Tom Kevin's Highway, uh, and that'll run us into Kentucky. Uh, so currently we're in Tennessee, uh, but it's only for probably about the next 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll cross over into Kentucky. Uh, and as you notice, the roads up here uh, seem to get a little bit smaller and a little bit tighter. Um, and you'll notice that as we make that turn, that slight turn uh, to the right too. But it's called a highway, so it's kind of interesting. Um, yeah. All right, so we're in a village of Moss. That's Moss, Tennessee. So, I guess I never really paid attention about what the name of this village was until today. So, today again is 9-11-2023, uh, and it's about 11.09 uh, a.m. So, <coughs> shouldn't be too much traffic, but then again, never know I know that they were doing construction a while back up over there and some of the areas um, but that was that was a ways down so I was just through here last week Wednesday um, and it was it was fine um, so hopefully it still is unless they've changed stuff so This is where we go towards Kentucky. Now, if everybody stays on their side of the mustard, we'll be okay. <laughs> I got that from a post about the dragon's tail, so uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. I've never really heard that the yellow line referred to that, but I was like, oh my God, that's so interesting. Dateline storage. And then there's uh, Eat Dining at the Line, I think, is another. There's a restaurant like right on the border. And as soon as you pass that, then you're in Kentucky. There's that restaurant, Dining at the Line, or Dine at the Line. The line being the Tennessee-Kentucky uh, border. Um, Dining at the Line, right there to the left. As soon as we go around this curve, welcome to Kentucky. Dun, 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 dun. Moreau County, Kentucky. 163 
now the roads get a little bit more swervy and uh, again they're, they're a lot smaller but this is a highway apparently um, very uh, <laughs> you'll see I, I don't know if I've done this in time lapse or not I do know that I did it uh, from Saudi Day to, to yeah maybe I did do in time lapse a while back but we'll just film for a little bit more again just to show you guys uh, some of the roads if you guys have never been up here in this area it's really beautiful country Kentucky's really beautiful but Tennessee with the mountains and stuff way more beautiful <laughs> And maybe you will get to see some of the crops too that um, I think might be tobacco but I'm not sure me and Gwen were kind of confused last time uh, we had drove over here together and I was it just it seems really weird like I've never seen a plant like that before but there's multiple fields on the side of the uh, highway or on both sides of the road um, and I believe it's tobacco but I could be wrong So they have pink trash cans here. It's kind of interesting. hills are really cool <coughs> I think I have video of this barn this pole shed right here actually still up but there, there was like stuff like metal was all falling off of it and everything uh, but I'm not a hundred percent sure I've seen that I've seen the pole bars the pole barn uh, standing up, but uh, I'm not sure if I took video of it again. Uh, I just remember driving by and seeing it there like that. So, <sighs> good old corn. Oh, that's kind of cool. That little blue pond over there. box back there looked really cool too really a good shoulder or anything it's just a huge drop off or you're walking in that grass and then obviously grass there that tall grass may have ticks or snakes or other rodents in there and I mean I don't blame them for walking on the road just not very uh, good spot to do it Just 
little short lane. <laughs> Pink garbage cans to now red ones. <laughs> oh, that one's pink, it looks like. So I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that one looked red, but maybe it was because it was in a shade. It, it, it was probably pink. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody got something here. Little deer. seeing any of those crops and I'm trying to remember where they were at uh, but it could be a ways up still so look at that barn the barn looks pretty cool Pass up here in five tenths of a mile. So this will take us to Ed Mountain, um, Ed Mountain Road or something like that. It's, it's got a weird name. Um, and then off to the left will be like a Walmart uh, once we get ready to turn. Um, again, I was out here last week, Wednesday, so I had to drive a U-Haul truck over this way back up north. trying to see if I can see that those crops I think that this is the area that I saw them in uh, which was really weird oh, that's not them right that's not it there's corn over here
yeah so some of these bends over here look red and, and some of them look pink i wonder i wonder if there's a difference like if one's trash and one's recycling or what definitely interesting something there with all that cleared land. <clears throat> I think this road's called Edmonton Road. Edmonton. And like I said, then Walmart would be over here to the left. And then that's Tompkinsville, Kentucky is over there too. And we're on the outskirts now. Going to the right. fields will be up here now at the weird uh like you said i think it's tobacco but i honestly i don't know i just know the leaves were really big and they're also starting to turn yellow when i was here last week wednesday so i don't know if that means it's time to pick them or if they have to all be solid yellow or what <laughs> it's 
funny that I can't find it now that I have the camera on. That always seems to happen, but so. Seems like there was an abundance of fields of them, and now I'm not seeing not one. Like, 
Every time I turn the camera on, I think I'm gonna get, get to see something cool and, and try to share with you guys, and it, it like never happens. It's always bad luck, it seems like, so. But we'll see, maybe there's some fields coming up here. Metcalf County, Metcalf, 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 I don't know, <clears throat> pretty sure I slaughtered that name, but that's okay. Must be on Summer Shade Road is where I saw that, and that's the road coming up. I just know that there was quite a bit on both sides of the roads. Here, it's obviously corn and some other thing, um, and a lot of dirt. Glasgow, Kentucky, 15 miles.
corn. shade I believe is what we're in So here's those fields. I don't know if that's tea, tobacco. They're on both sides of the road here. So I don't know what they are. They're really weird flowers or something. I mean, it could be tobacco, it could be tea. I, I have no idea. So weird. If somebody could comment in, in, in this and let us know what that is. I mean, we've we've driven by here quite a bit and and trying, we're trying to figure that out but like st still have no idea what that is and looks like we may have to stop up here so those are the fields i was talking about i wanted to see and show you guys um i think they're kind of cool like i said that's the first time i've seen stuff like that uh i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and end this video guys uh if you guys like this kind of content please feel free to subscribe like or share or just watch it i'm fine either way uh with that I'll see you guys on the next one. You guys take care.